Hi, my name is MK1 Jeffrey Redman. I'm with the Engineering Systems School of Fast Response Cutter staff at Training Center Yorktown. This video will cover the removal and replacement of the MTU 20V 4000 M93L fuel accumulators. The maintenance procedure card that coincides with this task is Alpha 53080 decimal D. This task will normally be performed as part of a corrective maintenance upon failure. This video is for familiarization with the task and shall not take the place of official procedures promulgated by a patrolable product line. Before starting the task, ensure you follow all safety guidelines outlined in the maintenance procedure card. Let's cover the tools that you'll need. 17mm combination wrench with a shaved head, 17mm combination wrench, 19mm combination wrench, 22mm combination wrench, 41mm open end wrench, forward wrench, 8mm Allen half inch drive, half inch drive extension, half inch drive socket wrench. 3 8 drive torque wrench goes up to 80 newton meters. Half inch drive torque wrench that goes up to 60 newton meters. Half inch drive torque wrench that goes up to 300 newton meters. Dead blow. A small flathead screwdriver. A scribe. Flathead screwdriver. 22 millimeter crow's foot, 3 8 drive. 41 millimeter stall belly head. 19 millimeter stall belly head. 17 millimeter stall lily head, and for consumables, Hakka Form 3015. When the B bank accumulator is required to be removed, the jack water pump must be removed. Refer to MPC Alpha 51101 decimal D. Prior to removing the accumulator, the intake air manifold must be removed in accordance with MPC A52059 decimal D. Remove the fuel injector connector and then remove the fuel injector wires. Next, remove the thermocouple connector. This must be done for all cylinders on that side. With two 17 millimeter combination wrenches, one that has been ground thin, we will remove the fuel return lines. With the thin 17 millimeter supporting the union fitting in the cylinder head, release the union nut for the return line. Then do the same at the accumulator end, and then remove the return line. Next, remove the high pressure fuel line fitting at the adapter for the fuel injector, and then at the accumulator. For ease of accumulator removal, we must remove the intake air elbow. Disconnect the temperature or pressure sensor depending on which side you're on first, then remove the intake air elbow. Loosen the union between the accumulator and the high pressure line. Disconnect the return line by the accumulator union. Remove the N10 Allen bolts from the bottom of the accumulator and retain for reuse. While supporting the accumulator, disconnect the union and then remove the accumulator. Cleanliness of the fuel system is of the utmost importance. Make sure that all of your fuel connections are protected from dirt and paint chips and the like after removal of the old accumulator. It is important to refer to the current maintenance procedure card or technical publication for tightening specifications and tolerances. These change from time to time by the manufacturer or other authority. As a reminder, all threaded connections of the high-pressure fuel system must be lubricated with engine lube oil prior to assembly. Carefully bring in the new fuel accumulator, 
place up against the block and align the high pressure union. Using wrenches, gently snug the high pressure line to accumulator union. Tighten union to specified pre-torque. Then tighten union to specified final torque. Install all M10 Allen head accumulator attaching bolts and tighten to specified torque. Install injector high pressure lines and then tighten the injector high pressure lines to specified initial torque. Then release the high pressure fuel line unions 45 degrees. Now tighten the high pressure fuel lines to specified final torque. Next install the fuel return lines from the cylinder head to the accumulator. Tighten to specified torque. Install the accumulator return line and tighten to specified torque. Install all previously removed injector control wires. Install all thermocouple connectors. Install the intake air elbow. Then tighten the bolts to specified torque. Install the intake air manifold per maintenance procedure card A52059 decimal D and tighten to specified torque. Once all installation is complete, conduct a performance test to make sure repairs were successful.